My turn. Leave it to me. Here we go. Right. My turn. My turn.
Salutations, my beautiful friends! It's only been ten days since last we met, but I couldn't keep myself away. Prince Oliver! And Major Vander! <laughs> Your slack-jawed amazement says it all. It looks like this will be quite the crowd-pleaser during its grand unveiling in Heimdall. Wait, what grand unveiling? Man, I don't even know what's going on anymore. What may you be referring to? It's been quite some time. I see many familiar faces gathered here today, and several I've yet to have the pleasure of meeting. Is that... I know that voice. The Radiant Blade Master? Father! So that's Laura's dad? Wait, who's the one now? And look, Tobol's with him, too. <laughs> this isn't quite how I expected our grand reunion to go, that's for sure. What are you doing up there? And what's with the hat?
<laughs> I'll fill you in on the details another time. What in the name of Adios is that? Wow. What a pretty ship. This thing's a real piece of work. Incredible. I've heard about the specs, but the numbers don't do it justice. Looks even better alive than on paper. Principal Van Dyke, you too? Um, could someone fill us in on what exactly is going on here? <laughs> Your bafflement is quite understandable. The chairman of the board proposed a change to your travel arrangements for this month's field study. He's agreed to deliver all of you to your respective destinations aboard this airship. What? He'll be riding in style. <laughs> He's mainly taking it on its maiden voyage to unveil the ship to the nation. We're just kind of along for the ride. You'll be headed to the capital first, but from there, it'll be a straight shot to Ruhr. Wow. I'm not sure what to say. Huh. This is all so sudden. I think I need to sit down. Well, should we be off, Your Highness? Yes, that sounds marvelous. With that, let me be the first to welcome you, Class 7. Aboard the second Arcel Class high speed cruiser, the Courageous! Brother told me all about it, but there's no substitute for seeing it soar through the skies. Simply, yes, it really is. <laughs> You're up there, aren't you, Reen? That's the Courageous! 
Oliver finally finished his airship. <laughs> it's a fine ship, isn't it? Prince Oliver seems to have gone to quite a lot of trouble having it built. <laughs> This the wind of change you intend to release across our staid and troubled land. Go, my son, and show me the caliber of man you can be. <clears throat> can you believe it's been almost two years already? And look at how far our debaucherous prince has managed to come. Partnering with Liberal to make a second Arcel class airship, then cruising over the capital? I suppose that's one way to stick it to you for outmaneuvering him at the trade conference. <laughs> Let him have his fun. Still, this was certainly an unexpected play on his part. He and that band of students he likes to ship across the country have proven a never-ending source of entertainment. But now, my dear Prince Oliver, we have reached a decisive point. The board has been prepared, every piece in its place. Can you turn the tides in your favor? I look forward to finding out. It's currently 10.02, and we have a north-northwesterly wind blowing in at a speed of 11 arch. We've just passed through the Schwarzdrake Barrier's airspace into the province of Nortia. Current speed is 3,050 SPH. We've reached full cruising velocity. Maintain current course and speed. Follow the Nortia main line, maintaining a distance of 200 arch. Aye, aye, Captain.
At long last, the Courageous has finally taken to the skies of Erebonia. <laughs> I feel like a mother hen watching her chicks leave the nest. I'll take your word for it. Um, this may sound a bit forward of me to say, but... It sounds like you had some hurdles getting this project together. <laughs> it was no easy ride, I'll say that. I doubt it would have come together without the Prince's unwavering dedication and tireless work. He had to find the time to raise funds and oversee the entire project, in addition to all his official duties. And to add to that, he had to take care of all the arrangements necessary to get Viscount Arce installed as its captain. I can't even imagine how busy your schedule must have been. Even from a student's perspective, it sounds brutal. Well, for this ship to have any weight as a deterrent, I needed the Viscount. Thankfully, he agreed to my request. My plan is to create a neutral third power capable of acting independently of our nation's two competing factions. You can think of the Courageous as the first physical embodiment of that ideal. A third party, huh? I feel like I'm starting to understand at least part of what it is you're trying to accomplish. The road will be a difficult one, though. True, but this is only the beginning. Seeing this ship soar through the clouds for the first time moves my heart just as when Class 7 was formally established. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for the Courageous, and for the brave men and women of your class. Your Highness. We live in interesting times. The political situation across the Empire seems to grow more ominous by the day. But, with any luck, making a real show out of this ship's launch will push back against the prevailing climate. Well, that's the hope, at least. Either way, you'll have your whole life to split hairs about politics. For now, give your attention to your field study. Thank you. I know you have high expectations for us, and I hope we'll be able to meet them. Instructor Sarah? Tovo? What are you guys doing out here? Oh, just a little bracer to bracer information swapping. <laughs> That's about the long and short of it. Been a while since I saw you guys, though. Not since last month in Legram. Yeah, always nice to see a friendly face, though. 
Well, despite keeping in touch with him and setting up these arrangements, it came as a surprise to me to see him on board, too. Clearly, it was meant to be. Honestly, I was only brought on because of my connection with Viscount Arce. This airship really is in a class all its own, though. It's not every day you see a ship owned by the Imperial family and captained by the Radiant Blademaster. This cruiser has the potential to be an important force in Erebonia going forward. Without ties to the Imperial or Provincial armies, it can potentially keep both of them in check if need be. It might not be able to do that quite as well as a strong guild presence could, but it'll still help protect a lot of people. That's true. It still frustrates me how the guild used to be an institution here. And at least the Crossbell branch sends its people over to help us out when we need a hand, though. Wenzel's one thing, but we owe McLean so many favors, I've lost count. McLean? Wait, are you talking about... Oh, yeah, I guess you would have heard of him. He's an A-rank bracer over at the Crossbell branch. A guy we used to work with named Wenzel works there now, too. Wait, maybe we should back it up a bit. The guy we're talking about is Arios McLean, a.k.a. the Divine Blade of Wind. The name probably sounds familiar to you because he's also a practitioner of the Eight Leaves One Blade style. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. I've never met him myself, but I heard a lot about him from my master. He mastered the school's second form. It sounds about as untouchable as anyone who holds the title of Divine Blade. Well, he's pretty damn strong, I'll give you that. Bailed me out of more tough spots than I'd like to admit. Speaking of, you know who else is a student of the Eight Leaves School? Cassius Bright. We were talking about him before, remember? He's the bracer who took command during that big incident two years ago. Though from what I heard, he left the way of the sword behind a while back. Cassius Bright was here in Erebonia. Wait, two years ago. Eh, it was an eventful time, to put it lightly. And yeah, we have Cassius to thank for getting us past that. But afterward, well, you know the story from there. They shuttered guild branches all across the Empire, one after the other, and your dear, sweet instructor was out of a job. I'd be glad to give you all the grisly details, but it's a long story. We should probably save it for another time. But hey, the guild seems to have a good track record with folks from the Eight Leaves School. Maybe you should consider a career as a bracer. Door's always open, you know? Me? A bracer? Huh. I never really thought about it before. Hey, there's enough of us singing the Bracer Blues without you trying to recruit my students. <laughs> never hurts to start them early. Seriously, though, we're always looking for more good people. If that's something you wanted to do, I wouldn't turn you down. <laughs> I'll give it some thought.
Attention all crew members and passengers. We will soon be entering Ruhr airspace. Please prepare for landing and make sure you have all personal effects with you before disembarking. Sounds like we're almost there. That was a shorter flight than I'd expected. Guess I'd better go round up the others and start getting ready. Ruhr Airport's granted us permission to land. Commence landing preparations. And keep the engine warm. We'll be taking off again right after our guests have disembarked. Aye, aye, Captain. Preparing the courageous to land.
me to welcome you to Ruhr, home of the Reinford Company. I sincerely hope that your field study here will be a fulfilling one. <laughs>